Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, I've come on this afternoon to share with you some cards I've been making as part of Kate Fletcher's coronavirus challenge and this is week eight and this week she suggested um, making cards um, with either roses, butterflies or an amethyst colour in it uh, and this was to honour really the lovely Carol Ann who is so positive and, has, and means so much to so many of us and I thought that was an absolutely wonderful idea. So we could choose any design, any anything we wanted. And so I thought, well, I've learned quite a bit through this challenge and I'd like to incorporate the things that I had learned into my cards. So what I've done is I've tried to make cards with butterflies, roses and the colour amethyst. I think they all contain all those elements, but I've made them using the, the models that Kate showed us in the challenges so they're not some of them are a bit adapted some of them are a combination and i haven't included the rosettes which was the first challenge so um so i just thought i'd just come on and show you what i've done so this was uh, it is rather a panel card that um that she showed us how to make and so this is obviously is an image of a rose here and then I've put three butterflies. Oops, you can see three butterflies there. Um, there's no amethyst in this picture, apart from well, I was hoping that this perhaps could um, would do, <laughs> but it's, it's actually a pink. And um, and uh, there's no sentiment on this card yet because I don't know exactly who I'm going to send it to. So that was my first card, and then I did the wonderful. Joyfold card, which is such a lovely card to make. Um, and so with this one, I just um, layered up the back backing with pink. And then I had this lovely rose paper, which is actually hunky-dory paper. Um, I had left over from a kit. So I used it on this panel and to make a sort of band here. And then I fussy cut out a rose from some other paper that I had. In fact, the same paper as, as this one came from. Uh, and stuck it on. I've added a butterfly here. And, um, and I've also put a rose here. Also fussy, fussy cut out from that uh, paper pad. So, so that's that one. It still hasn't got an embellished um, sentiment on it yet. But uh, it will do. So that's those two. And then one of the weeks we did, um, oops, sorry, um, a, a rainbow effect. And um, so I thought, well, this time I'll, I'll do a rainbow effect um, and I will use it as the background for another technique that we did one week, which was silhouette stamping. So I used some watercolour paper and I use my uh, watercolour brushes to produce the rainbow effect here and then I stamped on it with this um, stamp which is of roses and then here I've just added three butterflies and then the sentiment get well soon so I think it's come out quite well it's a bit different and then the final card that type that she showed us was um, a twisted easel card which I absolutely love. So I've actually made three. So I had these lovely rose images from Hunky Dory from one of their little books. So this one, um, I think it has all the elements because it's got a bunch of roses, it's got a mammoth's bow, and it's got it's got butterflies on the paper, but I've also added a butterfly there. And then inside is I just lined it with some paper and just put a um, a thing which says happy birthday which again has a rose and a butterfly so that's that one then this one I folded the wrong way round I think but anyway so it's a bit strange because it folds the other way but anyway there we are so this one is this beautiful rose image and I had a vellum butterfly which I coloured purple so for the amethyst and um 
so I've got the roses, I've got the amethyst and I've got the butterfly. And this one just says a birthday wish, especially for you. And finally, um, I had this, uh, this image, which I absolutely love which is of roses and then some campanulas, I think. So I, I layered it up on some, I'm going to call it amethyst card. It's a sort of pinky purple. It's a bit, a bit vibrant. Um, and uh, I made it into another twisted easel. I put some heart paper there. And then I mounted a, a sentiment, which I'd stamped onto the same glitter paper to use that as the stopper. And then I added this little butterfly here, which is amethyst. It is an amethyst but, uh, butterfly. So those are my makes. I've really enjoyed doing this challenge. And um, I want to thank Kate for organising it and for giving us the opportunity to try different things. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this week's challenge is going to be. So. Thank you all for watching and I hope you're all well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.